based on others. Sometimes test scores and grades are done on a curve. The teacher allowed the highest grade in that class to be the top grade and everybody else was graded under that. So my success and failure often depended on how well others did in class. But we see that Paul, Paul says that I am not wise if I compare myself to my peers and associates. Right. Scientists even say that no one has ever duplicated my genes. In other words, why is it that I'm trying to be like somebody else when God made me me? Amen. Amen. Sociologists tell me that no one can even duplicate my experiences. Because the things that I go through, I uniquely go through them. Amen. Paul tells me that we all have gifts differing in Romans the 12th chapter and the 6th verse. So how can I compare myself to others if I am unique, if I am matchless? For the psalmist says in Psalms 139 and 14, I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. See, there's no need, Pastor Johnson, of me trying to build another TD Jakes. There's no need, elect lady. For you to try to be a one eight bottle. Because see, God in his infinite wisdom, he made us specifically for him in a specific way, in a uniqueness to do his perfect will in the earth while we're in this earth. But even in that, we still find ourselves trying to measure up to others. So many times we become people pleasers and don't even know you're a people pleaser. But our ultimate goal is for God to get the glory. For God to be pleased in my life. And I'm growing more and more to realize that it ain't about how you look at me and how you feel about me. Cause you don't have a heaven or hell to put me in. But I must please the one Take it away. Who's able to set me up in eternity or set me up for damnation? Who are you measuring yourself up to? You need to get your eyes off of people. I praise God for saving me from people. Because people will have you running like a chicken with his head cut off. They tell you to go to the left. You run to the left. They say, come on to the right. You run to the right and never any better. Who are you measuring yourself up to? See, we have a tendency to use an imaginary vertical scale where others are either above us or beneath us. Those that are above us reminds us of our inferiority. I'm inferior in my mind. I become inferior to that person. To their works, to their abilities. And when you are inferior, you react in fear. But I know what the word of God said. God has not given us the spirit of fear. But of love. And a sound man. How are we going to sell? I thank God. Because if you try to measure yourself up to somebody else, you're going to fail every time. Because you can't please man. Man is so inconsistent. He's for you when you're scratching his back. Amen. Tickling his toes. 
singing songs that make them feel good. Yeah. But then when you criticize, yeah. even if it's constructive criticism, yeah. even when you're trying to be a good brother, yeah. being a good sister, yeah. they'll turn on you like rabbit dogs. Yeah. 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 Who are you trying to measure up to? When we look at that imaginary scale, it reminds me of how the children of Israel began to see themselves. They saw somebody else better than them. Did they not know that they were called out by God? When you call out by God, you are a royal priesthood. You are a peculiar people. Amen. God had made you something when you were nothing. God picked you up out of the muck and mire and set us up on a rock. And he established our going. And the devil wants you to think you're less than. But I praise God. I can measure myself by the measurements of the word. And the word said, I am what God said. But when I behold him, we shall be like him. Who are you measuring yourself on? Whose report are you going to believe? Hallelujah. I heard what the children of Israel said. In Numbers the 13th chapter, he went on to say, The Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Send thou men that they may search the land of Canaan, which I give unto the children of Israel. Of every tribe of their fathers shall ye send a man, every one a ruler among them. Skip on down to the 17th verse. And it said, And Moses sent them to spy out the land of Canaan, and said unto them, Get you up this way, southward, and go up into the mountain and see the land. What it is and the people that dwell therein, whether they be strong or weak, whether they be few or many, and what the land is that they dwell in, whether it be good or bad, and what cities that they be, that they dwell in, whether in tents or in strongholds. And then in the 27th verse, 